And I, I just briefly uh, talk about application. Best and most successful application of regional system is the production of high quality antigen by um, NOVA for uh, producing antibodies. And uh, as you know, uh, this is a major product of, of NOVA. Uh, we are very happy to, to this uh, one chart which capture the very successful application of a, of a region extension system. Another application is the, the, uh, has been for the development of uh, vaccine for malaria. Malaria proteins are very difficult to express, uh, difficult to express and most express, for example, different people tried equally system but when you look at the success rate, it's, it's like a 10 to 30% of, of success rate in malaria proteins. In the wheat germ cell-free system, it goes up to 80%. And sometimes it's higher. And different people report a very similar result so far. And as you show here, uh, this is how wheat germ cell-free system is, is, is produced to, to, to to produce those uh, those uh, difficult to express malaria protein and how assays are developed out of it. Another method is, as I mentioned this, uh, how easy it is to put the different messenger RNA and the co-translate uh, proteins together. And the same thing happens. This is uh, one example to to find the the, the substrate of of a kinase which is not a very easy to do. But in this case, the, the, uh, in a wheat germ system, it's very e easy to make this kind of biotinated target proteins. You make lots of different proteins like that. And here's a kinase, and try to find out, you combine this with a certain detection method, in this case, a perkin elman method. And simply, wheat germ allows you to make all this protein is biotinated proteins very, very easily. You can build the, the system the, using the alpha screen method. You can detect whether the kinase really uh, phos phosphorylate the, the, the target proteins or not. That way you can screen it. Excellent. And now I will talk about the structure analysis, application to structure analysis. We have been collaborated with the CESD, this is the Center for Eukaryotic Structure Dynamics at the University of Wisconsin Madison. They have uh, they have all the uh, the robots we have uh, we have produced, designed and produced, and also uh, they have this uh, uh, DT2 desktop model, and they also have uh, XE proteomics XE now. And what they have been doing is this. They are using this gen decoder for screening, and they, they, they screen certain uh, uh, proteins. And once they have found, they found a protein which can be successfully produced in the wheat germ system, now they, they do produce it and see, uh, run the HSQC whether the proteins they produce are NMR structure analysis worthy or not. And, and the, 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 the milligram uh, they, they have is a few milligrams, which is good enough for run the HSQC like this. And once this uh, the analysis, uh, uh, once they think this is worthwhile to spend time and, and, and time and labor for run the actual a NMR analysis, then they produce that in the large scale protein. Uh, 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 in this proteomics and run the NMR analysis and they have deposited all, all the all kinds of uh, structures to protein data bank. Until we had the proteomics exceed, actually it was not very easy to talk to X-ray crystallography uh, people with which I'm self-free system. The reason is straightforward. In a traditional X-ray crystallography, to find the, the right crystallization uh, condition was almost like half science and half art. So they, they produced lots of lots of proteins and tried all sorts of ways to make a single crystal. So even if you produce 
50 milligram protein to produce tiny, tiny crystals. You have lots of effort, and you spent lots of material to produce that small, uh, finally small crystal. But finally, we have this protein to XC, so we can address the X-ray crystallography uh, uh, community uh, with the region surface system. The first paper produced is this one, and the second paper was also uh, published by the University of Wisconsin Madison Group, and um, this this work is, is is in progress now. This is a very uh, busy chart, and we have prepared all the frequently asked questions FAQ, and the, uh, you would want to ask all kinds of uh, questions, and it is printed uh, in, in in the handout you have, and we have. Uh, the, we have revised this uh, FAQ, and if you're interested in that, we would be more than happy to distribute that uh, to you, either, either through Abu or you can talk to people in Abu Nova. This is another busy chart. This is also uh, shows the uh, selected differences on the wheat germ, uh, basic literature, NMR structural analysis, X-ray structural analysis, and the hu human proteins, which I mentioned that 15,000 or 16,000 human entry clones, uh, gateway entry clones are available, and this is a paper. Um, another uh, paper in membrane proteins, I think in the coming years, this area is far more active than before, and, and some way to cope with uh, the uh, disulfide bonds, and also uh, the first, I think this is the first uh, uh, formal paper about malaria protein produced in the wheat germ uh, system, and also we, uh, our, our system has been described in a mono, monograph shown here. So uh, at the end, I briefly talk about our line of business of the Cell Free Sciences. Um, it's our company, and we manufacture and sell of those uh, wheat germ extracts, other reagents, and the kits. And the robot, uh, we also uh, design and, and sell robotic protein synthesizers. I mentioned this a premium expression kit, small kit for eight reactions. You can try to see whether your gene of interest can be expressed or not. Another way is we also provide a service called the contract protein expression service. So if you give us your gene of interest and tell us whether it can be expressed in the wheat germ system or not, we will. And what we do is either you put your gene of interest in the PEU vector, which we, we offer for free, or you just send the, the, the gene of interest in any plasmid, any vector, then we, we insert that into a PEU vector and express it. And we can, we can report the solubility, yield, uh, and purity. So uh, those are the two, two ways to, to get to know the region cell free system. And from time to time, we, we, we have technology licensing uh, negotiation. And we do have, we are not a huge company, we are a very small company. So we have uh, selected contract research to support customer drug discovery. And Dr. Wu nicely captured the, all the activities for new dr uh, uh, drug discovery from structural and functional analysis. And we are here, we, are the, we provide critical technology uh, for uh, target protein synthesis and a little bit toward lead chemical identification. But we are here in the long chain of activities. Thank you very much.